All right, guys, ready for today's video? Because I'm not. Check this out, though. My Clan Nova Legacy just hit the uh, the purple badge in War Battles. And guess how much of that I helped with? None. That's right, because every time I play in a war, I lose. But, do you guys see this? Am I pointing at it? There you go. You guys see that? You see that logo? That's the that's the running on MT logo. That is a new team that myself, Tommy Inverse, and Matt Dadon are trying to make. Well, we are making. We're trying to make big, and um, so that logo is going to be there for long, permanently. Am I looking at it? Can you tell if I'm? Am I looking at? I don't know. Well, let's get into a game, okay? All right. So we're just going to run some ladder. I think I found the trick for clash royale i think the trick is well, let me turn this down in my ears because that was loud I, f I think the trick is to if you're gonna play ladder or for me if i want to play ladder i need to play it in the morning times because once it's like in the afternoon that's when i i've mentioned this in a previous video but that's when the crazies come out i'm gonna log this so i can cycle to my e -whiz. but that's when the crazies come out and i found the most success Ooh. I've definitely found the most success though. I need this wizard to die. Thanks in advance. I found the most success in the morning time playing on ladder though, which is why I'm at like in the 5200 range right now. Did I get all those? Oh boy, I did. So, something I didn't show, different from my last video, is uh. Dude, bridge spamming decks are so stressful to play against. Because I'll, you just have to do everything so quickly. Come on, Valk. Get out. Alright, he's taking some, He's gonna hurt me here a little bit. But I got my miner level 12. I finally upgraded him. Um, the Jeez, dude. These level... Th literally, he's played everything at the bridge, hasn't he? I have to do this. I have to poison that. He's played everything at the bridge. He's, like, putting a lot of pressure on. But I can upgrade my ice spirits and poison as soon as I get the gold to do so. I have the cards to do so. Dude, this guy has literally played every every card at the bridge. He hasn't played one card in the back. Oh, dude, I can't wait till the double elixir. I'm going to ruin this dude. Are you kidding me? I'm not even going to play anything because I can't. All right, I'm going to save elixir. And this is it. We're coming back. We're going to win this game right here. But uh, real quick, that uh, logo, that running on empty logo that you guys see over there. That is, uh, that's something that is pretty big that I'm working on right now. I wanted to put the logo in right now, even though it's not completely ready to be announced. Uh, so, when it is completely 100% ready to go, I'm going to be making a separate video about it and or a, just a Twitter video about it, especially on the, on the Twitter profile. So, and that Twitter link is going to be in the description below of this video right now even though it's not 100% ready that was um that was an all right poison I should could have played that one better but do I get them also I think so yeah all right so here we go we're gonna go for this left side oh man if my e would have got one more hit off to let the minor tank for it let my e get some more hits that would have been amazing all right ice spirit skeletons right here on the left side and then we're gonna get our Inferno Tower down, just because I haven't been placing them. Did he, this guy just give up? I, th <laughs> I think this guy realized that once it hit double elixir, his plan wasn't going to work anymore. So there's two things he's going to do here. He's either trying to bait me out to just throw down 10 elixir all at once, and then he's going to try to spam the other side, or he's totally given up, which... I think he has. <laughs> wow, that was different. Oh boy. Magical chest. Here we go. We need, what do we need for this? We need Inferno Towers, mainly. But any any of our three legendaries will do. But Inferno Towers is the most realistic thing. Okay, nothing. Literally nothing. Are you kidding me? All right, so we're almost uh, 5,300, though. 5,241. Uh, our season... I think we... Yeah, we hit 5,300 last season at least once. All right, we're going to hop right back into another one here. Playing against a level 13 crown tower. 
it feels good to be level 13 crown tower it's kind of awkward being a level 13 crown tower though with still like a level 11 cards i mean the thing is like the only cards i have that are level 11 are my e wiz and my log like everything else is at least level 12. it's just hard to get i'm not even gonna place inferno tower on this hog rider it's just hard oh crap i should have no i got him um, it's hard to get level 13 legendaries. Like, right now my miner is at 1 out of 20 to be level 13 miner. And I think what I'm going to do, like with my strikes from the past rail, is try to go for the level 13 miner. Like, focus on getting the level 13 miner rather than a level 12 e or log. Just so I can have at least one of my legendaries level 13 and miner is like my win condition so he's definitely the one to go for i mean the obviously the e was in the log needed to be level 13 as well but i definitely i'm just gonna focus on the miner with my strikes we'll log him because he hasn't thrown out a skeleton barrel yet something that definitely sucks with the level 11 log is level 13 cards i don't know I don't think I kill them all, or get rid of them all. Okay, let me focus up here. I'm having a hard time focusing. Our right, Ice Spirit's gonna take care of those minions. Here we go. And then we'll Valkyrie here to get rid of these goblins. And our Inferno Tower locked onto the Hogrit. Oh, not anymore. That's okay. That was our Valkyrie swiped them. And now, actually, we're not gonna play anything. I was gonna do a rookie move, which is what I tend to do. And I was gonna throw my Miner out right there, but that would have put me at zero elixir. That's something I'm learning. I'm learning how to do better elixir managing, but here we go. We're going to E-Wiz in the back here, and then we're going to cycle back to our Valkyrie. Just like so. Actually, we're going to cycle to Inferno Tower, just like so. And then we're going to Poison here, because he's going to be playing his Goblins. Oh, why does the Mini P.E.K.K.A.? No, 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 Mini P.E.K.K.A. You weren't supposed to go to the tower, my friends. That's okay. I forgive you. I forgive you for your mistakes, but now I'm going in. We'll go ahead and log that. Princess, he's doing a good job at making this princess go on the other side. So I can't, uh, I can't get log value. Did I get a lot of that? I did. Where's this freeze? Is he going to do it? No freeze. Oh, we're so good right here. So we know he has freeze, so I'm going to go ahead and put my miner out early to see if he'll freeze it. That way my Valkyrie can get more value. And I'm going to poison right here. And then I'm going to E-Wiz him. And I'm going to wait for my spirit. He's, why is he not freezing anymore? I don't know why this guy isn't freezing anymore, but I'm okay with it. The freeze is definitely going to come out here. Right? Yep, there it is. So perfect. I saved my Valkyrie for the freeze. So we got that defense. Yeah, having a level 13 Valkyrie, it's just nice to have at least one card that's level 13. Like, it's, it feels so good to have at least one card that's doing some work. I'm going to go ahead and poison these guys now, because I don't want him to get the goblins and the minion spam rolling. I'm going to do Inferno Tower high right now, and then cycle back to it. Here we go. So he used, he used Zap. I got those, and here, here's, here's where it's not good. I need to cycle. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna mi miner in the back, and then we're gonna poison on top of him. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is some damage. Get him down. I need this to get a little bit lower. Oh, we're at 228. Oh, dude, this is way closer than I want it to be. I'm fairly stressed out right now. I have to. No, 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 no! The E Wiz! The E Wiz got caught! No, please, please, no! No! I was trying. To, I was trying to place the E Wiz just perfectly after his freeze. And I did it just a little bit too early. Ah. Uh, uh. Alright, here's the deal, guys. I did a cut there because I just played a few games where I keep losing against level 13 cards. I don't want to post them, so I'm just going to cut. I'm just going to cut it. We're going to go again right here. 
I don't want to post a video that's all losses. Maybe I was wrong when I was saying that playing early in the morning... I mean, playing early in the morning does give me less level 13s to play against on ladder. It does. But it's not a foolproof plan. Immedi like, literally immediately, this guy is playing a level 13 Royal Giant. That's so funny. Like, level 11, look at that, level 11 Crown Tower, level 13 Royal Giant at the bridge, immediately. Isn't that crazy? And what's even crazier is, that guy had enough Elixir, is he played one card, to have Bats and Mega Knight already. I just need you to go down, sir. Because I'm not, I will not lose to you, I promise. There will not be a loss. This is going to be a victory. I promise. So let's see. Okay. And then we just need to E-Wiz him. E-Wiz that guy. And then we can Valkyrie in the back. And then we can Inferno Tower him. Okay, here we go. So we're we're good on elixir right now. We have a Valkyrie in the back, pushing up. He just used all of his elixir on that. Now we're gonna ice spear right behind our Valkyrie. Good. Okay. Good. Got some swings. We'll go ahead. E was right here. Take care of those bats, and then he's gonna take care of this Inferno Dragon. Now here comes his... Oh, okay. I thought his Mega Knight was coming. Mega Knight is not coming. So we'll go ahead and Miter back here now that he uses Witch. And now we'll have Valkyrie to take care of this Mega Knight and Witch. All at the same time. Look at that! Okay, it looks like... Alright, so our Miner just got massive value back there. But that's awesome. Okay. Inferno Tower out, ready to go. I love that he played this dragon. <laughs> Bro, I got E-Wiz, which totally ruins your whole game plan right here. We're gonna do another Miner in the back, and then another Log Poison to kill that witch. And now our Valkyrie's just going in for free. Valkyrie? That's what I'm talking about. I told you guys, <laughs> I wasn't gonna lose again. I wasn't going to lose against these level 13s. I think my next video I need to do... So, I know I could have done the Fireball Draft today. I didn't want to do that because I'm really bad at the drafts. I wanted to get some wins in. I think for the next video I do, I'm going to do a Classic Challenge. And see how I can do with that. But, wow, that was... That was some interesting games. I'm glad I got to do a win there. Because, as you can see, I only have three chests going right now. Let's see here. Let's get some gold... Get some gold cards going on. Got, what are we at? 13, 42 gold. I think I need 10,000 for the Valkyrie. So thank you guys for stopping by. Next time I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a classic challenge or some kind of challenge next time where it's all level 9s. I'm put, like level 9 uh, cap. So I don't have to face level 13s because that's some stressful stuff. But thank you guys for stopping by right here. Don't forget, running on empty. We're going we're gonna to make something out of this, okay? So, like I said in the description below, you have my Twitter like always, and then the uh, Ready Not Empty Twitter. So, go follow those. Thank you.